Fiji, a picturesque island nation situated in the heart of the South Pacific, has gained global recognition as a top-notch tourist destination. Fiji's culinary scene is flourishing with its abundant seafood and fruit, but it encounters difficulties in obtaining other raw materials, resulting in a significant dependence on imports. Among these imports, mushrooms are particularly essential, with an annual market demand of around 2 million US dollars. However, in 2014, China stepped in to provide Fiji with invaluable assistance in Junzhao technology. This innovative approach involves utilizing Junzhao as a substitute for traditional woods in the cultivation of edible mushrooms, revolutionizing the costly and labor-intensive methods previously used. I'm here at a college in Fiji, and let's take a look at how China helps local students to grow the precious herbs named the Junzhao and help them increase income. I entered into Junkao industry in 2019, but it was really unfortunate uh, that uh, the pandemic strike and then we need to slow down. But once uh, the pandemic was over, then uh, we have ventured into the Junkao industry with the help of uh, uh, the China Fiji um, Junkao station at Lenga Lenga. They have been very supportive in terms of providing us with the machinery and uh, in terms of the knowledge, particularly to our students. Initially, the Chinese team directly supplied mushroom spawns to the growers in Fiji. As the mushroom industry developed, Fiji gradually acquired the ability to encompass the entire industry chain, and it began cultivating mushroom substrate independently, thereby producing their own mushroom spawns. This is the first step. Oh, first, first step. step. Right, yeah. first step okay. over here. So once this is grinded, uh -huh. then uh, we will be putting into plastic bags like this over here. Oh. To produce mushroom spawns suitable for mushroom growth, the process involves several steps, including shredding the jinxhao grass, manually mixing, bagging, and sterilizing it. So now this is already, the inoculation process is complete. Mm -hmm. So very soon we can take this, after the mushroom bags are ready, they are subject to inoculation, incubation, and cultivation through different methods soil covering cultivation, wall cultivation in coolers, and shelf cultivation in coolers. Mm. More people are lifting themselves out of poverty through mushroom cultivation using mycelium. Some individuals have also moved beyond the traditional model, integrating primary, secondary, and tertiary industries to add greater value to these small mushrooms. I think we are the only ones that have an added value product. Uh, we have a, um, the spicy oyster mushroom pickles, uh -huh. and that is in uh, vinegary. Uh, we have a special recipe. Uh -huh. To Brisbane, uh, LA, and to Samoa. So currently just samples, um, mm -hmm. but we, we started sending them before the pandemic and then stopped for a while and then now we're sending them again. Uh, once we had our first harvest, uh, we were able to sell it at around $15 a kg. But uh, gradually, we were able to make uh, close to $25 to $30 uh, a kg. The money that we normally get from the mushrooms is reinvested into the teaching and learning of our students who are in uh, vocational agriculture at the school. And uh, the students have shown a lot of interest, particularly into this industry. And they are quite keen in terms of learning and uh, also after graduating uh, from the school they intend to venture into uh, this industry i come here and learn uh, only one year to learn this uh, mushroom production uh, after this i want to go and do my 
own mushroom at my place. I already plant the jungle cow grass at my place. Besides economic benefits, Jingcao technology also addresses Fiji's ongoing issue of feed scarcity for livestock during the dry season. Jingcao grows vigorously, maintaining its lush greenery even in the face of flooding and resisting weathering during periods of drought, making it a reliable all-weather feed option. We started planting Jingcao grass in 2002 during COVID season. And um, during that time, there was, uh, uh, it, it was nearly a drought, so there was hardly any grass left. So we got introduced by the Jingcao guys about the Jingcao grass and we started planting it. Now, from then till now, we haven't had shortage of uh, animal feed. Um, this, this is for the horse, what the horses are feeding in right now, right? And um, mostly we, we either use this and mix it with other, other nutrients for the horse to eat, or mostly they, the horse, they love it as it is. So we planted two acres and it's been carrying us on till now. The local people in Fiji have affectionately named the Jingcao the grass of happiness. Fiji is among the numerous countries worldwide have reaped the benefits of Jingcao technology. By 2021, it has been extensively implemented and advocated in 106 countries and regions globally, generating countless job opportunities for local communities. This stands as a shining example of the Belt and Road Initiative.